Hello and welcome to Charlotte Alive. I'm Donica Hudson and I have two lovely, powerful women of God who are guests tonight and you'll be happy to meet them. I have Reverend Barbara Peacock from Hello, University Donica. Park Baptist Church. And Reverend, Reverend Peacock has been on our show before along with Christy Legg. Mm -hmm. And Christy is the Vice President of iLife Television Network. Reverend Peacock is the Minister of Discipleship and Prayer at University Park Baptist. Both of these ladies are charlatans and are well versed with our topic, which is women and revival. How are they connected? Ladies, you are both praying women. I know you through prayer, have known you both for several years now in prayer. Yes. And that's that's intimacy when you know somebody in prayer. Right. You know, you know them intimately. You know yes. what they're really thinking, what they're really about. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So tell me, what's God doing with you, women in revival? Go ahead, Barbara. Well, I just have a passage I would like to share, if you don't mind, okay, Donica. This passage jumped out uh, yesterday okay. when you were in my office, and uh, it talks about the Queen of the South. And uh, when I read this, it touched my spirit because we are here in the Queen City, Woo. and we are in the South. And it's coming from Matthew chapter 12, verse 42. And it reads, The Queen of the South will rise up in the judgment with the generation and condemn it, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Whoa, whoa, slow down. <laughs> I think we better get, we, <laughs> whoo, this is deep, deep. So if you're listening here, the topic here is revival, and we're talking about some prophetic revelation here. Now, when mm -hmm. Barbara first <laughs> spoke this in her office, my jaw dropped. Yes. It dropped because, you know, when the Spirit quickens you and you're reading the Word and the words jump off the page and you go, Oh my, let me digest that. I think that's what's happening here to our viewers because I know I'm going, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yes, because we're this, in there. Because this is this yes. is relevant. This is you're giving us the heartbeat of what God yeah. is saying by his spirit, just mm. revealed to you yesterday mm -hmm. through prayer. And yes. you were ministering. Mm. Yes. You were yes. ministering and he gave you this. So let's say it again. It's the Queen of the South. We all know we're in the Queen City. Yes. And let me tell you how this came about. We were okay. talking about binding the strong man because yes, we were we dealing were. Some, with some spiritual warfare. Yes. And we were praying. And as we were reading about the unclean spirits going out and how they go through dry places mm. seeking rest and they find none, mm. the spirit said, go back and read the verses prior to this mm. pericope that we were reading here in Matthew chapter 12. And we were beginning with verse 43. And so we went back up to verse 42. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then it said the Queen of the South and it, there was, out. it just yeah, jumped. Right the page. You know the, that's the, Lord. the Queen of the South. And here we are in the Queen City uh, the and South. we are uh -huh. in the South. And so I have been praying and meditating on the scripture and I believe God has a lot to say to us through this one scripture. But mm -hmm. the main point that I would like to share mm -hmm. for our time today is that the Queen of the South, which we understand as the Queen of Sheba, mm -hmm. she went to Solomon to get wisdom. Yes. And we know that the Bible tells us that wisdom is the principal thing but in all our getting to get understanding. We understand that the Christ is the very essence of wisdom. Mm. And so the scripture goes on to say, she went to hear the wisdom of Solomon and a greater than mm. Solomon is here. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what revival mm. is all about. Yes. Revival mm. is about the presence and the anointing of the living God. Yes. Mm. It is. Mm. Yes. Okay, what else was God showing you in that scripture? Oh, there's so much. There's so much. Uh, God has been telling me for years how he has chosen the city of Charlotte. And even mm. having lived in New Jersey and God moving us here 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we prayed 15 years to move to Charlotte mm -hmm. and God did it. And so we have been praying for revival in the city of Charlotte. And God chose this city and because he chose this city, this is the city of the king. He is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords. And when you study the life of the queen of Charlotte, my mm -hmm. God, when you study mm -hmm. the life of Queen Charlotte, you find out that she was married to a King George III, and she was a woman from Germany. And you study how this mm. city was founded mm. in 1768 and, and how it was a place that persons came to, uh, they, there was a gold mine here and, and there, was, there was gold here. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and people wanted to come because it was a prosperous city. Mm -hmm. And now you look at a city that's the second largest banking district in the world. Mm -hmm. And you look mm -hmm. at a city that has 300 out of the 500, Fortune 500 companies. God is doing something awesome mm -hmm. here and we need to get on our knees and pray. And I still stand on the word that I've stood on from the beginning. Second mm -hmm. Chronicles 7, mm -hmm. 14, mm -hmm. which says, if my people who are called oh, by, by my name, name mm -hmm. will humble themselves. Yes. Charlotte, humble yourself and pray yes. and mm -hmm. seek the face of God. Then Charlotte will hear from heaven. Then God will forgive our sins and heal our land. I can feel the revival on the streets. I can feel mm -hmm. the revival on the pavement. Yes. I can see the revival in the buildings and revival yes. is here and revival begins with us. It's a personal relationship with God. And as we ask God to cleanse us and to purge us, then we'll be prepared corporately to go forth and to experience what God has for us even before the foundation of the world. Mm. God bless the Queen mm. City. We will continue to pray and cry Amen. out to our Lord mm. Jesus Christ. Amen. And you know, you both have something in common in that you were drawn to Charlotte. So were you, Christy, well, I, about I the I same actually, amount of years ago. I actually came kicking and screaming. <laughs> Drugged my heels all the way here saying, oh God, no, no, you know I'm a Texan. That's where we're born. If you're born there, you're supposed to die there. And I never even thought the Lord had shut all the doors for mm -hmm. anything else in Texas. Yeah. And this was what opened and it. It was a divine opening mm -hmm. with a wonderful mm -hmm. uh, professional speaker who's still a friend of mine. And I had no idea to get into television. Yeah, uh, but God knew. I wasn't even watching television. I thought it was crazy, yeah. you know, especially Christian television. And now you program an entire network. Yeah. You run the iLife Television Network, which yeah, is program. 8 million? 9, nine, nine million. million digital cable households That's, uh, across the country. You're on the cutting edge. You're digital. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's, a, it's a lifestyle program, so it's, it's different. The Lord's bringing about some some different programming for these times mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and why do you think He's doing that in relation to revival? To reach everybody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, because one one style of programming, especially in inspirational programming or Christian programming, doesn't reach everybody. Uh -huh. And so there's a whole new genre out there. There's a, there's a whole new market out there, a world of people, especially the younger generation, uh -huh. that are being completely missed. Yes. You know, and now we're into the, all of the, the new technology uh -huh. with and iPod TV and VOD and all that stuff. And your network is, is lifestyle network. Mm -hmm. And don't you think people want something that's real? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, well, there's, there, there, there's there's something for everybody, and yeah. you have to look at what's out there and what we're competing against, and right. uh, not mirror what they do because the God, uh, the scripture the Lord had given me is that uh, He was the creator of witty inventions, mm -hmm. and I thought, now that's you know He comes up with all the brand new ideas. There's nothing new under the sun, mm -hmm. and we don't want to mirror what what the world is doing. But how can we take it and do it better? Mm -hmm. Because what the message that we have is eternal and it's everlasting, and it's um, it impacts you for for eternity. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's much more important than just something you see mm -hmm. on secular television. Mm -hmm. And we talked about the Queen of the South, the Queen City Charlotte, yeah. being a spiritual Jerusalem and that there are several cities mm -hmm. that I believe God's going to connect in the United States through yeah. the media yeah. that are spiritual Jerusalems. And by that spiritual Jerusalem, I mean where the gem, Gentile and the Messianic remnant are being drawn. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we look here in Charlotte and there's a, a lot of ministries that have relocated here, yeah. most notably Billy Graham Ministries. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of the Messianic remnant. And if you mm -hmm. really have your pulse on what's going on with Christianity, yeah. you see a lot of Jewish roots coming up. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of uh, women emerging. Yeah. And, and that's part of our topic here. Yeah. What do you think is the significance of God bringing women out? It's almost like for so long, we women didn't have a kind of, right to vote. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And now, whoo, it's like we're, yeah. what's God doing? Well, I just think about how Jesus had a heart for women mm -hmm. and that women were at the tomb, you know, when Jesus was resurrected. Yes. They were mm -hmm. the first there and they were, yes. they went and told in the city about the resurrection oh, of Jesus. They told the news. They mm -hmm. told the good news and, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. God is no respective person. I just believe it's our time and our season, and it's time for us to walk in it. Yes. Yeah. How about you, Christy? The men, well, you're it, in a man's world. I know. I am, and <laughs> and I and I'm and I'm five foot four in a man's world and blonde, you know. Um, but the 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 Lord is. It's like he's 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 removed the veil off of yes, women. There's yes. been a stirring and a burning even. Um, since since I got here, I knew there was an unsettling in my spirit, mm. and not to go against church, not not to burn the bra, and you know, 
freedom for everybody. It's that, that's not what it's about, but it's going to have to be a partnership between men and women yes. mm -hmm. to bring this about. You can't yes. do it alone. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, that's, that's what the, you know, it's, it's, it's like a marriage. Yes. You've got to be in harmony and mm -hmm. you've got to be in one accord. Mm -hmm. um, so the Lord is really not just releasing women, but um, empowering them and, and moving them to the, to the next level mm -hmm. to bring that about. Mm -hmm. You know, you read the scriptures where Jesus said there's neither Greek nor Jew, male nor female. Mm -hmm. You brought the point out so aptly that a woman was the first to be, to see Jesus resurrected, Mary Magdalene. Yes, yes. And to go spread the good news. That was so taboo. I mean, we, <laughs> we think women are being brought to the forefront in Christian media today, but let's talk about a society where women mm -hmm. couldn't even show their skin where women were not allowed to speak, not even in the synagogue, and were relegated to a back room, mm -hmm. where a woman, you know, the, the common law at the time said it is more, uh, it, it, it was more blessed to, um, oh, I forgot how, to, how it went, something about it was abominable to, like, to hear the voice of a yes, woman. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we're talking slavery for women. That's what we're talking. Mm -hmm. They wore a veil, they were hidden, you know, and it was a male-dominated society. So we've come a long way, <laughs> yeah. you know, but at the same time, this is not about a women's movement. This is about Jesus restoring right order to the body of Christ because in our totality, my husband and I have a great relationship. I know you and Gilbert do as well. 28 that, years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. that, oh, that's fabulous. That God, there's, there's, um, there's a power and a strength in moving as one mm -hmm. and, and we are the completeness of mm -hmm. what the totality of God is the Godhead. Mm -hmm. You know, He's El Elyon, the, the breasty one, but then He's also very masculine. You yes. know, mm -hmm. but we were created from from Adam. You know, and so mm -hmm. together we are to carry out this mm -hmm. thing called revival. Yeah. And in doing it through the media, that seems to be the call that He's mm -hmm. kind of shoving us toward. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just hear God saying balance. It's all about balance mm -hmm. because. Yeah. God said he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. And yeah. it's not by gender yeah. that a revival will occur. It's oh, by the no spirit. Way. It's yeah, by the spirit right. of God. So I think we have to be careful and make sure that we keep that balance there, mm -hmm. that we don't, don't get strung out in left field yeah. because we do need one another yeah. with many members in one body. And but I, it's exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. And yes. I look historically at revivals and mm -hmm. it's like every hundred years or however often that they occurred, you can see the reflection, it always went crossway with the laws at the time. Yes. yes. Okay, let's go back to Man's Azusa. Laws. Yes. Man's, Man's laws. Man's laws. Yes. You know. Not yes. biblical law. That's yes. right. Good yes. point. Yes. Azusa. Yes. A hundred years celebration integration. this year. Yes, mm -hmm. but the, at the time mm -hmm. they were fighting the integration between black and white. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And we all know that that is not God's will for us to be separated. I mean, Amen. you're one Amen. of my closest friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, I don't see color. What? What is that? So, and, and by the way, if you do, there's an adjustment coming when we, <laughs> when we get to heaven because there's going to be every color, every tribe, every tongue, every nation that believes and has served Jesus together worshiping the Lord. And what a beautiful thing. Amen. And that's what, that's what you're going to see in revival as we begin to meet en masse here yes, in the city of Charlotte. Yes, yes, there's yes. neither Greek nor Jew, male nor female, that's black right. nor white. Isn't that the truth? We're all that's together. together. Blonde or brunette. Blonde or brunette. All together. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. Many members, one body. That's right. Yes. Praying together crying together, yeah. walking together, talking together, yeah. and walking with God together. Yep. Every nation, every creed throughout the world. Mm. That's, why, that's what I love about the Global Day of Prayer. You know, everybody's coming together yeah. across the world, praying yeah. at the same time mm -hmm. with the same focus, mm -hmm. believing God mm -hmm. for a supernatural mm -hmm. movement that only He can cause that's to right. happen. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's all about him. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I go back to your statement about the scripture of the Queen of the South going to Solomon, which is a type and shadow of our going to Jesus, yes. who's the better one yes. that has now yes. come, yes. for wisdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you've got questions out there and you don't know what your purpose is or why you're here, and you hear three mm -hmm. women talking about our purpose here on the earth through for revival and media, then God wants to speak to you just like he did us through prayer. And so call our prayer line, 704-366-9307, and let us pray with you concerning God's purpose for your life. And if you don't know Jesus, this is the perfect time to ask Him to be Lord of your life. It's as simple as just...
praying a prayer with us and asking Jesus to come into your heart to heal you and cleanse you of all sin and to dwell within you. Send his Holy Spirit to live within you. It's, it's that simple. The Bible says all you need to do is confess and believe that Jesus is Lord, that he paid the price for your sins and you Amen. shall be saved. Amen. That simple. Amen. That simple. Christy, what would you say? Now, God pulled you back to the spiritual Jerusalem, okay? Mm -hmm. Not back to, but relocated yeah, you yeah, here. Yeah. What What's God showing you that's going to happen? You have spent so many hours in prayer. Yeah. I mm -hmm. know you have too. Yeah. I mean, and we have together. What's he showing you is going to happen? I mean, you see, you are in touch with every big ministry. You've got a yeah. pulse of what's happening globally. I mean, yeah. every ministry in the world just about you have contact yeah. with. And yeah, it would it would worry me if I were to look at the ministries that air on our networks and one out of a hundred or two hundred that air were saying something about revival, but all of them are. Okay, all well, over the place, and we're talking about global ministries. Yes, uh, not just here in the United States. They're talking about prayer. They're talking about women. They're talking, you know, the same things we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So it gives me some level of comfort that we're not, you know, just isolated out here. Mm -hmm. I know that um, when you and I began praying five five years ago, one of the first things uh, I'd, I don't remember if it was a dream or, or a vision. It must have been a dream that I had one night about a giant white tent that covered mm. the map of the United States. Mm. I'd never seen a revival tent. I, I, I didn't know what that was, but that's what that was, a tent of revival. And the ropes that came down from the sides of the tent had stakes on the end, and the stakes were strategically placed, and one landed in Charlotte, one landed in a city in Florida, one was in Dallas, one was someplace in Ohio, mm. either Cleveland <laughs> or Dayton, mm. and the, the West Coast, you know, and I was, uh, the, the Lord has slowly re revealed a lot of that, what that mm -hmm. is. And there's just, this is like a, it's like a Mecca. It's like a Jerusalem. Um, ministries, just like you said, are moving here daily. Mm -hmm. And you ask them, even the staff that work for us, why did you move here? God told me. The Lord told you to pick up and move. Of course, you know, I came kicking and screaming. But, <laughs> and have tried to move back and the Lord has said, no, this is your assignment. This is where you're supposed to be because there's something going on here that, 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 you, that I have predestined for you to be a part of. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't want to miss that. Right. But there's so many ministries that are, that are relocating and they're relocating to other places as well. And I, there's just this network. I'm, I, I'm meeting people from across the world and, and especially the United States, just that we have something in, in common. We're thinking the same thing. Uh -huh. we're, we're hearing the same thing uh -huh. from God. There's this rumbling in the spirit. Mm -hmm. There's this excitement mm -hmm. that, that can't be squelched. And uh, the picture the Lord, Lord always gives me is that um, a, a fire on, on the top of a stove being turned up. Mm -hmm. that the, the, the flame of the Holy Spirit is being cranked up. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, how do, how do we function in that? How do we hold on till Jesus comes, you know, mm -hmm. without exploding? <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and it's a good thing mm -hmm. because, you know, we really do have to pray to make it today. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> to quote MC Hammer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we really do, or we yeah. will explode. I mean, there's mm -hmm. there's so much that comes at us, mm -hmm. and at the same time that God's cranking up the fire, it, the fire is increasing. Oh, Absolutely. Yes. I mean, it's big time. Mm -hmm. That's why you know when you were reading this scripture about really, it's about deliverance. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. about not only for individuals, but strongholds over city, yes. Yes. over cities, and um, I think that a lot of the warfare we experienced prior to coming to tape today was because of this revelation. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, and yes. what's God saying? What What has God put on your heart, Barbara, about deliverance for our city? How does a stronghold get broken down? Through prayer. Mm -hmm. yeah. The prayer of deliverance, the prayer of healing the prayer of being on one accord because if one can put a thousand to flight, the Bible lets us know that two can put 10,000. Mm -hmm. And truly demons are trembling in this city. Mm -hmm. The blood of Jesus is covering this city. Mm -hmm. The power of God is present here. You know the song, the presence of the Lord is here. Yes. I feel it in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. The presence of the Lord is here. Yes, I know it. Go ahead. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I need some drums. <laughs> we need a little BGV background vocals. Yes, but this, the tr we aren't wrestling. We aren't fighting with one another. Yeah. We aren't fighting with races. We aren't fighting with genders. We mm -hmm. are, we're fighting with principalities and powers. powers and spiritual rulers of rulers darkness of and spiritual yeah. wickedness. And mm. not just in some places, but, but in, in high, high places. places. And we tear down those strongholds in prayer. Mm -hmm. 
God is faithful. He will do just what he said he will do. Yes, he will. <laughs> and don't you think the enemy's trembling because we're looking mm -hmm. at these mass prayer gatherings. Yes. I mean, yeah. that's multiplied power. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Can yes. you imagine hundreds and thousands, millions to flight? Yes, millions yes. to flight. You know, and we've we've covered some strongholds that have been broken in the city. Like um, I consider one of those the sexual immorality stronghold. Yes, yes. Um, I take it a sign that the Charlotte Pride is not gathering in Marshall mm -hmm. Park mm -hmm. um, as a sign that, that God is really beginning to to bring spiritual awakening. You know, this is the same thing that happened when you read about revivals historically. <laughs> the bars cleared out. You know, <laughs> yeah. the uh, the pornography was nil. The, mm -hmm. the you know everything that people used to fill that void that only Christ can fill mm -hmm. uh, became useless. Yeah. And God just moved and swept through a city and blew it clean. And the people were transformed. They were mm -hmm. not even able to stand at times because of the presence of the Lord. And we know that in spiritual Jerusalem. Jesus is the light. Yeah. He's the only place. He's the, he's the light. Mm -hmm. he, he's what you live for. He's the source, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and he's our source. Yes, yes. Is there is there yeah. something you want to share about how he became your source, Christy, that you would admonish somebody watching, encouraging them? Well, it was after I'd moved here yeah. because I was a believer. I became born again in college. Mm -hmm. And um, still have one foot in the world and one foot, foot in church. I was making it to church on time. <laughs> I might have had a hangover, but I was there, by yeah. golly. And just, uh, I started attending a church here in Charlotte and uh, heard and saw things that I had never seen before. Mm -hmm. And I just started thinking in my, in, in, in my mind, you know, why can't I have that? Mm -hmm. Why can't I have that joy and the, um, yeah. It just, it just wasn't, wasn't mm -hmm. happening. So I mm -hmm. asked the Lord what, what I needed to do, and I rededicated my life and, and was baptized. Okay, that's key. And, yeah. you know, we're, we're running short on yeah. time here, but you rededicated your life and gave it to the Lord. Yeah, gave it to the Lord. Thank you for joining us. Everyone watching, please call our prayer line and do what Christy did. Do what Barbara did and do what I did one day. Amen. Do it today. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Barbara. Thank, Thank you, Don. God bless you. you. God bless you. Good night.